Hello everybody, this is Robert from Authentic Audio and Sound. Today we're going to show you how to do a modification on an Earthworks SR314 vocal microphone. Now, I purchased this microphone, not for my sound company, but uh, to use in the band that I play with. We play music from 1930s through 50s Paris, and uh, one reason we got this mic was the look of it. That was the main reason, really. Along with the uh, exceptional sound it does provide, it has that Art Nouveau look that fits perfectly with our music. Now, unfortunately, when I got the mic and I first plugged it in, this thing was pee popping like a mother. And I, I plugged it into the monitors, and I thought this thing that was pee popping so bad, I thought this thing was going to blow out my mother goddamn speakers. So, I started looking for a way to modify this. Now, if we take it apart, we will see that it's got two layers of protection from the factory. This thing's kind of hard to get out here. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Damn it. Okay, so we have this mesh screen, steel mesh screen, it's so one layer of protection. And then under here, if we unscrew the top, we will see that there's another screen. So we've got three metal screens, but these things don't do a god fucking good at all. So the first thing I thought was well, first, you know, we don't want to we don't want to mess with the aesthetics of the microphone because it is such a beautiful thing. And if we put one of these things, it looks like shit. it just looks like mother shit. I mean, it looks about as good as a. It's not very good looking. So, my first thought was. We'll get a small foam windscreen for, an, for a uh, podium mic. Put that in there. Oops, got it in upside down. What the f***? Okay, let's try that again. Put that there. Screwed that thing on there. It's tight fit though, you know. And then, that didn't work worth a hit with the goddamn So then I thought, well, I got a screen like this and cut the top off, so it's pretty thick foam. Stuck that in there, screwed that on. It was still popping like a Okay. So then, next idea I had was to use a dead cat. Dead cat's one of those furry things you see on a lot of video recorders. So I ordered this set came with two sizes and look how tiny this is this looks more like a not a cat but this looks like it came off of a premature stillborn kitten so anyway and this is marketed for a sure motive mv88 ios microphone but you'll see it's a little tight fit Come on. But we can, we're going to get that thing right on there. Now look at that. Covers the, the vents for the keep the cardioid, but it's not blocking them. Really good fit. So now we're going to put this little filter back on here as well. Look at that. Come on. Cat fur. 
I'm gonna say some of that cap fur is getting onto the threads, but just gotta get it. We don't want to cross thread this thing either. Two ideas I pulled up a little bit. And there you go. Now with that dead cat on the inside, can't even see it. So the microphone keeps its aesthetics, but I'd say this has eliminated the, the, the mother peepop probably by 90%. I mean, if you really blow into it hard or you do a really good pa pa, then yes, you, you might get a little bit of a pop, but I'm telling you, this is the ticket. If you like this video, like it.